Merhabalar ben Şükrü. P2P'nin bu bölümünde Voltage Cloud'dan Bob'la birlikte olacağız. Voltage Cloud hiçbir donanım gerektirmeden Bitcoin ve Lightning nodu çalıştırmanızı sağlayan bir sistem. Ee, eğer Lightning ağına entegre olmak istiyorsanız kendi nodunuz üzerinden Voltage Cloud'u deneyebilirsiniz. Hi Bobby. Hey. Yeah, so how is it going? It's a good day. The sun's shining and uh, Bitcoin's running, as Nolan loves to say. So it's a wonderful day. How about you, Sukru? Yeah, it's all good. Like, you know, a TikTok every 10 minutes, we get a new block. And yeah, thanks to nodes, we can verify it ourselves. So <laughs> yes. yeah, basically, that was a real quick entry to the topic. But yeah, we are here to talk about Bitcoin nodes and yeah, what we can do with them and how to run nodes in a simpler way. So, Love it. okay, so I know you are a road node runner, I guess. Yes, I've run uh, a few routing nodes and now I um, have a node that I'm playing with, with uh, Noster, just uh, using that along with our Surge product just to like better understand like how my node's performing with, but it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I love tinkering with them. Yeah, so I know I had, I started running a node in actually, I think 2018. So the simplest way I could do it was over this uh, cloud service Luna node because they had this one click BTC pay server install and I didn't have the hardware. So I'm like, okay, I'll just play around with it. And yeah, then I started running a node and yeah, I got introduced to BTC pay server as well and love the product. So fast forward to today, I Yeah, bought a node, a node. It's a pre-set up node, and I am running it. And I also am running a, a Raspberry Pi node using Umbrel. Nice. And now I have a Voltage Cloud node. And yeah, Voltage Cloud is the platform that you know. So yeah. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I've ran three or four voltage nodes. I've uh, toyed around with Start9, Umbral. I've tried doing command line. It confused me. I'm not like a, a computer first savvy person, so I I understand the challenge of running a node in that perspective and why so many people love Umbral, Voltage, Start9, Noddle, and like all the other solutions. So, yeah, it's really exciting to see that this is getting easier. You know, it's not necessarily simple enough for let's say the normie who's not in Bitcoin to pick it up. But I think as a Bitcoiner, a lot of us are very interested in learning and understanding these things and, you know, putting that effort forth. And it's improved so much over the last few years. Um, so it's wonderful to see. And uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, you said you run routing nodes. I personally was always like worried about running routing nodes. Hmm. So basically routing nodes are the nodes where you, Uh, transfer funds or do you want to explain it with your own words yeah just explaining what a routing node is yeah 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 so um the lightning network layer two of bitcoin it's a peer-to-peer -peer network so it's not uh like an on-chain payment where you can just send it with you know zero issues and just wait for the fee to be paid and boom you're you're done uh there is more complexity to it um, as there's peers that are all connected and uh, you might not be connected to everyone in the lightning mm -hmm. network. And the reason why is whenever you do spin up your first node, if you put Bitcoin on it and you try to send a lightning payment, it, it won't go through. You're still holding on chain Bitcoin. And what you need to do is open a channel to a different peer. And since you're opening a channel to them, you're still holding your money, but you want to send it somewhere. So it's on your, uh, It's on your side. We call that um, outbound capacity because you can send it out. Yeah. Now, if you're a, uh, a business and you want to receive payments, if you open a channel to someone else, you can only send still. But as a business, you might want to receive. So the simple way to put it is you might need to get inbound capacity. So you might go ask friends to open a channel to you so you can receive payments. Or you may go to one of the liquidity marketplaces. And there's many of them out there like Amboss is uh, one of my favorites where you can purchase inbound liquidity from someone and pay a small fee. And, um, you know, for node runners, which we're kind of talking about uh, to kick off this conversation, if you're a node runner and 
this sounds complex to you, you know, bu get buying inbound capacity, getting outbound. The easiest way to get started is to spin up your node, open a channel to someone like River, Bit Refill, or just a bigger node, and just start spending your Bitcoin. Because if it's okay. on your side and you spend it, some of it's on the other side on their nodes. So now you have a little bit of inbound. So now you can send and receive. So I think that's probably, at least in my words, one of the most simplistic ways to explain how a Lightning node operates. Yeah, that's good. So, but like, you know, when Lightning was still really, really new, it was really easy to get uh, inbound because people were experimenting around. And if you had a node, uh, yeah, you could just ask for it. And there were a few people around and everybody would be like, yeah, sure, I'll open up yeah. a channel to you. But now things have changed. There are bigger nodes. And like you said, you, yeah, people might have to, buy some inbound channels using magma you guys also have this stuff called flow right now yeah we have um flow it's our liquidity product um and we've just rebuilt it um and it's in testnet called flow 2.0 where a user can get just in time liquidity so like we mentioned when you put money on your node and you open a channel it it does need to do an on-chain payment so you're waiting for your fee to go through and hopefully someone doesn't outbid you so um, what we're doing is making it so anyone with a node can get that inbound immediately. We do what's called a zero comp channel. So, you know, we trust that Bitcoin is going to continue to operate and we're having faith in the protocol taking that risk. But we're giving you that capacity so that you can immediately start receiving payments. So it's a huge level up for node runners. Um, and, you know, there'll be better solutions later. But this is a solution a lot of people, you know, find valuable and a lot of other providers are even building out because it's really in demand with for yeah. especially when the mempools you know busy with ordinals and just big money transfers all these different things <laughs> well good news today the mempool got cleared out so we were down to <laughs> yeah <laughs> open channels <laughs> yes yes open channels that was the message today uh but yeah so basically uh, normally with uh, Flow 1.0, I would pay someone to open a channel to me and I would have to wait the on-chain transaction to settle. Now, you you trust that it will eventually settle and then you provide the liquidity instead. So yeah, that makes things really fast. And yeah, so that I don't have to wait for the confirmations. And I think the confirmations for opening a channel is like over six confirmations so mm -hmm. it could take some time yeah yeah so uh i have a personal light uh node that runs on voltage because i'm a single person i'm just doing it for myself playing around but i saw that you have some other versions yes uh yeah what else do you do and what are the differences on running a node yeah. Yeah. So um, while a lot of people love spinning up voltage nodes for maybe um, routing and, um, you know, just using it personally, um, we often are kind of for tinkers, builders, engineers, developers, a playground where they test for building on lightning. And one thing that's really fascinating is there's a lot of enterprises that end up using us, just businesses or institutions. And one of their team members will just open an account and it's not until six months later we see they're like starting to build on lightning and they use voltage as their infrastructure provider and um, what's really unique about voltage is we're, we have a non-custodial solution we're not building a, a custodial lightning solution where if you're building something and integrating lightning you're relying on our node and like our funds and we're kind of uh, managing mm -hmm. that for you you get to spin up your own node you've got your own private key your funds and it allows you to use it in a non-custodial way so um, that's what's really special and um, beyond simply the nodes we have the ability for users to get liquidity like we discussed and we just launched a product for nodes called surge which gives you time series data so if you've ever used thunderhub and some of the tools out there right now it'll show you static data where you can see like how your channel's doing now but mm -hmm. whenever you're not staring at the computer you may have had intermittency and for like connectivity with one of your peers, maybe their internet goes down mm -hmm. or they're having a ton of failed payments and you couldn't see that. You don't have that insight because you don't have this 
just kind of like track record that's like kind of doing work while you're not around. It's watching mm -hmm. everything. It's maintaining and monitoring and ensuring that your node's connectivity is operating well. So that's really compelling because when you think about um, – Lightning payments that are successful. I remember a couple of years ago, it was like 70% from like Rivers node. Now River is shooting like 96% success okay. when it comes to payments. They're obviously doing a lot of work on their node and they've got experts on their team, but not everyone has that. Not everyone has the skill set that River has and has like a Lightning node operator. What we do they is some dedicated people that are just there to improve the payment. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they uh, have like dedicated, skilled people and our product Surge, what it does is it gives any node runner the ability to have all of that information over time where they can make improvements and we're adding alerts and monitoring and just automation and all these wonderful things. But that's really powerful because if you think about it, like we mentioned earlier, to kind of break this down very simply for the listeners is the network's peer to peer. So if these channels ever go unbalanced, a payment can fail or it has to reroute. And if it takes too long to find a payment it, or a way for the payment to go through, it'll just time out and it says payment cannot be made. So if you think about it, if every node, every economic actor in Lightning had a tool like Surge and they could rapidly improve their node and balance channels and be a great node on the network, it makes Lightning very, very, very scalable. So that everyone can have a wonderful it's user experience. Exponentially better because like if, I'm better connected and if my peer is better connected, yeah. So yeah, so I you nailed get it. access to a lot of other nodes and yeah, that's good. And uh, so for this surge, also I went through Voltage, I couldn't see it. Is it like a new feature or do you have it already for maybe enterprises only or? Yeah, it is a new feature. Um... We have uh, people beta testing it, primarily a lot of like core customers and people that are on our wait list. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a, a wait list currently and you can easily just go sign up for it on the website, but we're rolling it out like uh, weekly to like more users. So mm -hmm. yeah, anyone's welcome to get on the wait list and start using it. And if you if you beat the table enough, we might give it to you a little early, like just, uh, just maybe ping us in the DM. We might slide it to a couple of folks a little early. Yeah, that's good to know. Uh, also, you also have a BTC Pay server integration that users can set up, which is good for a lot of people who want to start receiving Bitcoin payments. Yeah. Uh, are you planning on adding other uh, applications as well that could run on your node or? Yeah, we um, right now, like um, there's not going to be a ton of applications. I don't think like BTC pay and like um other ancillary ones that are kind of um i guess like that example but there are integrations within the voltage platform like ellen bits is natively within there where it makes it super easy to spin that up we have um zeus in there so we, we talked about node runners or people that want to just spend bitcoin you can connect your voltage node to zeus like in a click like pretty easily and then spin from your phone on the go which is really great um and there's other services in there too, like um, uh, uh, there's Hub is obviously very similar to LM Bits. Yeah, and I, I believe Albi's in there as well. So there's a great list in there of just different um, tools that you can integrate very seamlessly. Yeah, I use both the Zeus and the Albi because yeah, right. Albi is a desktop, uh, is a browser extension where you could just span from your Chrome browser or whatever and yeah. With Zeus, you can just connect your note to your phone and be mobile with it. So, Yeah. Another cool thing we, we launched this last week was a Nostr toolkit where you could spin up your NIP5. And for anyone who maybe doesn't know what that is, um, when you sign up for Nostr, you get this long public key called an NPUB that no one would ever read. Okay, and... we need to start with Nostr. <laughs> so we, can, we didn't <laughs> talk about it on the channel yet. It's off. Oh, okay. 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 But yeah, yeah Moster is a protocol that lets people communicate over the internet with use of relays. And NIP05s are basically these long uh, public keys, but uh, they could get connected to your Lightning wallet, I think. Is that a good explanation of it or? 
Yeah, yeah. Nostr is a text protocol, so you could spin up a Twitter, a Substack, a Craigslist, anything that's really text based. You can do more than that, but that's how people are using it now with what's cap what we're capable of. And yeah, the Nippo Five is like a long Twitter name that's like a bunch of numbers and letters. It's confusing, but or the, that's the NPUB. Excuse me. The Nip Five is where you can give yourself a really short, memorable name like an email. But what what we've done at Voltage is we've made it where your NIP5 is also your LN address. So it's like your Albi address or um, your Zebedee address, the Lightning address. Mm -hmm. But it also allows you to receive zaps to your own node, whether you're using your Voltage node or your Umbral or your Noddle, any node you have. And that's really fun because it's now allowing people to custody their own funds. And what's really interesting right now in Lightning, you hear a lot of complaints like from Bitcoiners is, something like 95% of lightning payments on Noster go to like wallet of Satoshi or custodial yeah. solution. And when you see videos of people learning about Bitcoin, they're often downloading these custodial wallets and they're great. They work wonderfully, you know, but for Bitcoin and just the, the cypherpunk uh, belief, like we want everyone to have non-custodial solutions. Mm -hmm. That's the long-term thing where people can hold their own money. So it's fun being a part of that and helping people live that out uh, with, with just the products we're making. Yeah, yeah, I I agree with that. Like, uh, lightning, it's whenever somebody starts using lightning, it's like mostly a custodial service because it's so simple. You don't have to manage any channels or anything, but then it's custodial, and you need to make sure that the user knows it's custodial and withdraws over a threshold to his own non-custodial wallet at least even if he wants to keep on using it custodially so yeah yeah but zaps by the way i'll go back to zaps zaps are yeah what makes noster fun zaps are basically tips so you mm -hmm. could tip people uh using zaps uh, over lightning and yeah if i like your post on Noster, we don't still have a name for like you know we say tweets notes they're something. called notes i believe right notes but they are still looking for like some oh, okay. names for it like the community is looking for it but we still don't have it cool. yeah but if i like someone's note i can just send them a tip uh, yeah using bitcoin over the okay yeah. cool well, yeah, that's um, we don't have to dig too much into Noster, but it, it's just it's cool. Like the whole point is like the lightning address. You can receive your these Bitcoin payments across the web to your own node. And what's really fascinating is Michael Saylor. I'm sure you saw this. He made his company wide emails, lightning addresses. So it's like Saylor at MicroStrategy.com or whatever. And you can you can just zap him Bitcoin, yeah. which is which is fun to see someone in that big of a, a light doing it. It's just tip, so cool. Uh, Michael Saylor some Bitcoin yet or no? He will never get my sats. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> I saw somebody posting on Twitter today. It's like, don't feed the whale sign. With yes. That's yeah. It. But actually, I tried to tip someone who works at MicroStrategy. Uh, and the Lightning address works. It identifies it as a, you know, as a viable Lightning address, but... Uh, it doesn't let me send the tip because it said this lightning address that didn't allow deposits yet. So mm. I think MicroStrategy employees should, yeah, allow getting deposits or or else they don't get the tips. But I try. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. So uh, what what kind of like uh, in your case study, by the way, I saw that Thunder uses uh, Voltage, Thunder yeah. games. Yeah. Yeah, I I love them. I I play them once in a while, and actually, it's like uh, they uh, it said that Thunder makes uh, the number of Volt of Satoshi payments increase by so much, and it's yeah. It's good to hear that it's running your on your service. Yeah, yeah, it is. They're uh, they're such a wonderful group of people, and they're uh, so kind to us to like make reference to us and in, um, in some of their past, uh, I guess, content they put out online. But 
they're doing tens of thousands of payments a day. And if you saw Kevin Rook's graph, because I believe yes. he had Desiree on recently, they're just accelerating up with like uh, payments flowing daily. So it's really exciting to see. And the compelling thing, I think, from that case study, since you brought it up, was because they are using non-custodial uh, infrastructure, because we are focused on serving businesses by not trusting someone else's node and like using their own is they get data and insights into what type of wallets are payments going to so they can optimize for that user, what geographic locations are they in and things like that. So you get tremendous insight and just ways in which you can improve your product and customer experience by using a non-custodial solution. So that was just really cool. Do you know if they are also using search and getting more information or, or is it like maybe a private information? Um, they, they are testing Surge, I believe. They're one of the folks that are uh, testing it, yeah. But, you know, one thing is that I never had a failed payment uh, from, yeah, from Thunder Games. And I tried a lot of different wallets and it's it's good. Yeah, they're doing great, yeah. Yeah. And this, I think, like, uh, yeah, in a couple of days, there's going to be a Bitcoin Games Day to celebrate... Uh, I think back in the days there was a StarCraft game uh, oh, nice. that paid prizes in Bitcoin. It's funny, like I think the first the winner oh, got yeah. the winner got ten thousand dollars, <laughs> the second got five thousand, and the third got I don't know hundred Bitcoin or something. But back in the day, hundred Bitcoin was nothing, but now mm-hmm. yeah, it would make a whole different like yeah prize money. I guess. Yeah. And that was basically no KYC coin back then. You know, no one was probably micromanaging who was getting what. It was just like, take your Bitcoin. So hopefully they kept it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't think people even, yeah. Nobody really cared about KYC on Bitcoin back then. It was like, what, 2012 or 13 or something like that. Yeah. I wasn't around during those golden years, but it sounds like a great time. <laughs> Yeah, I was, I tried to be around, but I couldn't manage to be around, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. And I know, so um, what is, in? Uh, it, do you guys see any interest from Turkey, by the way, or? We have um some interest uh, from, let me just pull it up. I was actually just looking at this earlier today, like where our audience is coming from so like just on our website Mm -hmm. um number one's us then we have the united kingdom then germany then canada brazil spain india and then it kind of diminishes from there like below two percent of users are Mm -hmm. are are there but um there's there's definitely a lot of interest in other areas i don't see necessarily personally like a ton from um, turkey but that doesn't mean we can't serve those customers and We do have some cool solutions coming down the line where we're going to be able to better serve a global audience. So Mm -hmm. I can't really say more beyond that, but it's really exciting because there is demand from users in different continents and just countries who are really seeking a good lightning solution for the businesses that they're building. So you are Bobby and I know Bob the coder. That's also at Voltage. You know, some Bitcoin companies have bands. Are you a Bob company or... Is that just two of you? Um, we're we're exclusively and only hiring Bobs right now. Since you said yes. that, this is I'm here to shill the Bob hiring campaign. So please, everybody, come Twitter DM me. <laughs> yeah, more Bobs. The, yeah, more Bobs. The better it is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Thanks for your time. And yeah. yeah, if you have any final words about Bitcoin or anything, you're welcome. Um, no, I think I've shared it. I just appreciate you having me on and appreciate everything you're doing to educate people in your area. That's awesome. Oh, thanks a lot. Well, yeah, see you around and yeah, take good care. All right, you too. Thanks. Yeah, bye. P2P'nin bu bölümünün sonuna geldik. Eğer siz de Bitcoin adı çalıştırıp Lightning'e entegre olmak istiyorsanız, bulut sistemleri üzerinden Not çalıştırabilirsiniz. Bunun ne kadar kolay olduğunu kendiniz de girip deneyimleyebilirsiniz. Önümüzdeki bölümlerde tekrardan görüşmek üzere.